What's up guys? Today we will talk about a new budget projector from Agrico with a unique feature. This is 360 degrees stand. It allows you to project an image onto a wall, ceiling or anywhere else. In addition to the stand, the projector has auto keystone correction and electric focus, 1080p native resolution, 11,000 lumens brightness, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi support. You know, this projector reminds me of the GMGO N1, but it is almost 10 times cheaper. You can buy it for only $100 on Amazon. Of course, we will not compare the new Agrigo and GMGO projectors, because they are very different, but I am interested in testing this budget projector. By the way, I am already familiar with Agrigo brand, because I tested two other projectors on our channel Tech Brothers, and they were good for their prices. Now let's try the new Agrigo A3. So when you buy a new Agrigo projector, it will come to you in this box. There is an image of the projector and its main features on the front and back. We can also see a package list on the side of the box and parameters on the other side. Although the projector doesn't have a carrying case, it is very well packaged in the box. So first we can take out a projector. You know it is really compact. We will talk about its size and take a closer look at the design a little bit later. We also have a user manual, remote control, HDMI cable, AV cable and power cable in the box. The Agrigo A3 is an ultra-budget projector, so it doesn't have a carrying case, projection screen and other accessories included. However, given its very affordable price of only $100, you can buy any accessories extra if you need them. I have already told you that Agrigo A3 is a compact projector. Its dimensions with a stand are 185 by 170 by 125 mm. The weight is 10, 80 grams. Without the stand, the projector would be even smaller, but then it will lose one of its main features. I really like the idea of this stand, because you don't need a tripod. Moreover, the stand rotates 360 degrees, unlike a tripod, so you can quickly move the projection from a wall to ceiling. You can even project the image onto the floor, but I don't think it will be comfortable to watch. The body of the projector and the stand are made of the same rough plastic. I think it is better than glossy plastic, because it doesn't leave fingerprints. You know, this is a very smart solution, because you will often touch the projector with your hands moving it up and down. Only the front panel with the lens is glossy. The back panel has a power button, power input, as well as HDMI port, AV port, 3.5mm audio jack and USB port. There is a ventilation window on the left and a speaker on the right side. We can only find a sticker with some information about the projector at the bottom. You know the Agrigo A3 doesn't even have a control panel or a focus adjustment and keystone correction wheels. You can only operate the projector with the remote control. The remote looks the same as other budget projectors I have tested before, but it has focus adjustment buttons. As for the keystone correction, it is automatic. We will test it a little later in this video. So although the projector and stand are plastic, they are very well made. By the way, I forgot to say about four rubberized pads at the bottom of the stand, thanks to which the projector doesn't slide on the surface. It is very stable. Ok, enough about design, and now let's turn on the projector. I have already told you that I tested Agrigo projectors before, and the new Agrigo A3 has the same operating system as the previous models. It is not actually a smart operating system, because it doesn't support applications. It is just a multimedia system. On the home screen we have iOS Cast, Android Cast, Music, Video, Photo and Office Suite. We will talk about iOS and Android Cast a little later. As for Office Suite, I think that there should have been an app here, but it is not installed. And there are just empty folders. By the way, I told you that it was a simple multimedia system, but the projector actually runs Android. You can go into the settings and see Android version 9.0. Anyway, you cannot install any apps on this projector. On the left of the home screen, we have settings, help, Bluetooth, HDMI and AV. Let's go to the settings menu. First, the Agrigo A3 has projection settings, such as zoom, projection direction, trapezoid, 
horizontal calibration, four-point trapezoid, and reset correction. We will talk about network and Bluetooth connections a bit later in this video. The projector supports many system languages. Then you can choose the boot source from default, memory, AV and HDMI. There are also date and time settings available on this projector. The Agrega A3 has many sound settings, such as system sound, sound style, balance, equalizer detail, and auto volume control. We will check the quality of the built-in speaker a little later. There is also timer, ODA update, and reset in the settings of this projector. Also, the Agrega A3 has a simple multimedia system. It supports Wi-Fi connection. Let's check it out. First, you need to go to the settings menu and connect to your home Wi-Fi network. After that, go back to the home screen and select iOS or Android Cast, depending on your mobile device. I have an iPhone, so we will choose the iOS Cast. Finally, take your smartphone, open screen mirroring menu and select the Agrega projector. That's it. By the way, the projector supports the Wi-Fi 6 standard, so latency is very low. As for the Bluetooth connection, you can go to its settings from the home screen, turn on the Bluetooth and search for your device. In my case, this is Apple AirPods, but you can connect other headphones or an external speaker to the projector. Before we talk about projection quality, I want to check out the built-in speaker. You know I couldn't find any information about the power of the built-in speaker in the user manual. A single speaker is located on the right of the projector. Let's listen to some music. So first, the speaker is loud, which is good for a large room. Sound quality is also decent for a budget projector. Overall, I think you don't need to connect an external speaker to the projector, because the built-in one is enough for home movie watching. Let's also measure the noise level of the Agrega A3 projector. It is about 53 decibels near the projector and 43 decibels at the distance of 1 meter. The fan noise is normal for a budget LCD projector, and it doesn't distract you from watching a movie. Now let's move on to the projection quality. The Agrega A3 doesn't have any streaming services pre-installed, so I connect the projector to my laptop via HDMI cable. You can see the 1080p 60Hz resolution in the corner. The manufacturer also claims that the projector has a native 1080p resolution. However, I don't really believe it. From my experience, it is most likely 720p resolution, because the image is pixelated. At a close range, we can even see individual pixels. For example, I tested a previous Agrega projector with 1080p resolution, and it had a better picture. Anyway, it is not a big problem, because from a distance, the projection looks very good. The colors are rich and vibrant. By the way, I didn't change anything in the settings. This is the default image settings. The maximum projection size of the Agrega A3 is 300 inches at 8.1 meters. I tested it about 3 meters away from the wall and my screen size was 100 inches. Now you can watch some videos without my comments.
need a marketing specialist, and you are the very best. Excuse me? What are you doing? How? Because I'm a kid. You aren't the chosen one. No, no. Let's back to the complex. Good luck, short Cereal. And the two undisputed giants of the cereal world were Kellogg's and Post. Major news from the breakfast world. these two teams is 30 minutes away from glory as they stand we're in two or three passes and that is magical absolutely for Bell do you want Jenny to direct play oh, this ball's in the air for a long time but Caffrey's able to pull it down and he's gone I forgot to tell you about the brightness of the Krieger A3 projector. It is 11,000 lumens. This is enough for watching any content in a dark room, but in a bright room, the image is quite blurry. You'd better make the room as dark as possible for this projector. He's got his man. He's got Watson for a first down at the 39-yard line. This is body. He's got his man. He's got Watson for a first down at the 39-yard line. don't do interviews so i had to hire new guys i'm here for the casting you told me that your guys don't do interviews so i had to hire new guys i'm here for the casting so in summary what do you guys think of the new agrega is three projector it is actually one of the most interesting budget projectors in a while first it has a very convenient stand so you can rotate the projector 360 degrees the image can be moved from the wall to the ceiling in seconds. The Agrega E3 also supports auto keystone correction and electric focus adjustment. This is something you don't often see in budget projectors. Although the Agrega projector doesn't have a smart system, it has Wi-Fi support, so you can mirror your smartphone screen. Finally, even though I don't believe it has native 1080p resolution, the image quality is good for a $100 projector. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.